Hello fellow Xperiazy owners, this is Shem2409 and in this video I'm going to show you how to obtain root access on the newest Sony Xperia Z firmware point two five three, based on a guide by on an XDA member NUT. So let's get started. So this guide will work on locked bootloaders, my phone is bootloader locked and also it will work on the point three five zero firmware so instead of the point four three four firmware. Currently, there's no root exploit for the .253 firmware. The reason for that is that it's too difficult to find a root exploit, especially if there's an alternative method of already available. So, to get started, you'll need to downgrade your firmware to the .434 version on the Sony Xperia Z. As usual, all the important guides and threads and link will be provided under the video, so make sure you read that first before you go any further. So, to get started, you'll need to download the newest flash tool from the XDA thread provided in the links below. Also, if you're on 2.53 firmware right now, you'll have to downgrade and flash the 434 firmware from any of the ones available in the links. If you want to downgrade from 253 to 434, make sure you do a full backup as you'll need to do a complete wipe of your phone, otherwise you'll get a boot loop. So make sure you do a complete wipe before flashing 434 firmware on top of 253. You have to do a full wipe. To flash .434 firmware, simply download it from one of the links, put it in flash tool slash firmwares on your hard drive, then go into flash tool, press the lightning button, select the flash mode, press OK, and then select the firmware you want to flash, then wipe all data, cache, and apps log, and make sure you have a backup here and then simply press flash. Once you press flash, the computer will ask you to connect your phone in flash mode. So simply power off your Sony Xperia Z and then connect it holding down the volume down button with the USB cable. And that's it. My phone is already on 434 so I won't go through this procedure. So let's go a step further. Once you downgrade, you'll need to go into the video that I've already recorded of how to obtain root access in 434 versions. So you make sure you're rooted before you continue. So if you followed my video, I'm sure you have a recovery installed on your phone right now. But to be able to upgrade to the .253 firmware, we'll need the newest recovery available and it's a dual recovery. So I've provided a link below to the newest dual recovery by NUT again. So make sure you download it on your phone. So to install the newest dual recovery, just put it on your phone's SD card, then go into recovery on your phone, press install, and find it wherever you have it in your phone. I think I have it on the yeah, external SD card, and here it is. And just flash it without any wiping whatsoever. So just flash that. Okay, now you can reboot the system, and you have a dual recovery. So basically when your phone boots up, it will vibrate and show the Sony logo. Just wait one second. And then whether you press the up or down button, you'll get into clockwork mode or team win recovery project TV, TWRP. So you enter it by pressing the down button once your phone vibrates during boot. Okay, so once we're past that step, make sure you back up your phone in recovery. Do a full Android backup. It's always better to be safe than sorry. You don't want to lose all data on your phone. And with flashing, you never know what's going to happen. So make sure you follow the guide, but also back up your phone just in case. Next, go to the thread provided in the links below and download the two files available there, the zip and the FTF file av available. Then put flashable zip on your external SD card and the FTF file, place it in the flash tool slash firmwares on your C hard drive. So once you have everything ready, open flash tool on your computer, connect your Sony Xperia Z via the USB cable provided by the manufacturer, press the little lightning button Select flash mode here, then select the 2.53 firmware, of course you don't do any wiping here, so you can just, so if you're coming for a 4.34 firmware, 
none of the data will be wiped on your phone. Okay, and then just press flash. Now the computer will ask you to unplug the device, power it off. So power off your Sony Xperia Z. Once it shuts down, press the volume down button and connect it to the computer. Now it's in flash mode and the new firmware will flash on your Sony Xperia Z. Okay, so as you can see, flashing is proceeding. Once the flashing has finished, press the power button again. And once you get the phone to vibrate, you'll need to enter one of the recoveries. I usually use TWRP, so I prefer that one. Okay, so now I press the volume down button again. As you can see, the diode has changed color to purple, and that means I'm entering the recovery. Once in recovery, press install. Then go into your micro SD card. Okay. And install C6603 flashable 2.53 zip. And swipe confirm flash. Or once, as you can see, it takes a couple of minutes, but as soon as it is over, we should have 0.253 firmware installed on our Xperia Z with a full root access. Once the flashing has completed successfully, do not wipe cache or delve or any data and just reboot the system. So once your phone finishes booting up, you'll see an NFC upgrade, so, so just wait for that to complete. Then you can go into your system information about phone. And here we go, we're on build number 10.11A253 firmware. So now let's just check if we have root access. So I can just go into BusyBox, installer, OK, and install it. So as you can see, the root works perfectly on my phone. I should also have super user. So let's just check if it's present. Here it is. So the super user is present and it works fine. So as you can see, I've upgraded my phone from 434 firmware into the newest 253 firmware. After installing the newest firmware, you might get a couple of reboots, so don't worry about that. That's totally normal. And also, your recovery might be lost. So I found that the easiest way to get it back is to install the Touch w TWRP installer on your phone. Then enter it, simply press install recovery. Then reboot into recovery and install the dual recovery you've had beforehand. Or just keep this one on your phone. So that's how you can get it fixed very easily because you have full root access on your phone. If you've liked the video, please hit the like button and please subscribe to my video channel. Also, make sure you go to a thread provided in the video description below and thank Not and the Root Exploit founders for their amazing work. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.